Hello everybody, welcome to another KGLW News Drop video. Uh, there's a lot to talk about, there's a lot of exciting stuff. It's an exciting day. Anyways, if you are a King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard fan, consider subscribing to this channel where I work on lots of weird King Giz based stuff and other music stuff is in the pipeline um first off i just wanna I, I just hit 500 subs which i mean isn't huge but it's big to me any number that gets bigger that's cool i hit 500 subs so thanks for subbing to my channel checking out uh my edits and my news videos and whatever you do i appreciate it very much thumbs up I'm giving y'all y'all a like and you can give this video a like as well if you want, but I'm giving you guys a like right now. Uh, okay, so yeah, there's a lot to talk about and a lot of exciting stuff to talk about, but I'm gonna start this video with uh, a few quick shout outs. I'm keeping my shout out portion just up front. I once again want to mention kglw.net, which I talked about uh, a little bit last time I did a video like this. Uh, their forum is now active and I suggest checking it out if you like having conversations about King Giz. It's a great community over there. Um, I'm kind of talking with a lot of those people right now. Uh, plenty of shout outs whether it's Justin or Austin or Brent um, or you'll see names like Giz Hinge and Altered Beef uh, these are all good people uh, doing good work. A lot of people on KGLW.net work hard to archive old shows. Uh, it's, you know, it's it's becoming kind of a group of Giz fans that are uh, functioning as um, volunteer Giz historians, you know. It's, it's cool stuff they're doing over there. And if you're interested in anything like that, if you're a King Giz nerd, go to the forum. If you, I think, even want to help with listening to old shows, they're trying to dig up old shows and archive old shows and stuff like that. So if you've been a longtime fan and uh, you like listening to their old stuff or just have weird memories from old shows you've been to, uh, go on that forum, shoot, shoot some people some information. You know, they're archiving all this stuff and trying to figure out when songs were first played. And yeah, the KGLW.net, project is just really cool and um yeah i'm trying to uh, communicate more over there with a lot of those people on uh, on the forum and yeah it's a great community been super stoked to meet a lot of those people online maybe one day i'll meet them in person uh which there's a lot of shows in the future that maybe we'll all be at and i could meet them we'll get to that in a bit so uh just a couple other shout outs i do youtube typically youtube based shout outs Oh, and I'm going to do one other shout out. This t-shirt, which I love. Uh, Aqua Boogie Art. I will probably put like an Etsy link or at least the Instagram of the creator of, of this design. Uh, if you're interested in like my shirt, I like my shirt. It survived one wash so far. Uh, at least did one wash pretty well. We'll see how it ages. Next shout out I want to do. So uh, there's this uh, fan made music video to It's Got Old. Uh, it's a couple years old now, but it's so good. I'm going to link that below. Uh, it's by Freon. And then uh, I'm going to give four other shout outs all for the same thing. I've been uh, learning a little King Giz here and there on the guitar. Right now I'm working on uh, learning Homeless Man in Adidas. So I watched The, the Saboteur and Analog Emma, and Charles Mario or Marriott, who I shouted out in my, I think my last video. And uh, he's got lots of great King Giz guitar-based videos. And then Liza Sizz, or I don't, I don't know how to say it. But anyways, all of their uh, takes on Homeless Man and Adidas, they all four of these people covered it on guitar and at least three of them sang it. It's been useful for me learning it and uh, I really enjoyed it. I actually, I shouted all of them out. I, I gotta give a special shout out though to Analog Emma. I think I listened to your version like three times in the course of, three or four times in the course of like a week because I kept going back because I really, really liked your version. It's really good. And the weather in the background, it's a perfect atmospheric. Well done, Analog Emma. Check out her cover as well as all their covers. Here, I'll even prove, I'll prove real quick that I'm learning. Hold on, hold on, here we go. All right, hopefully I don't screw this up. Here we go. 
It's a work in progress, but you know, it's a work in progress. I haven't even started trying to sing sing along to it, but I really love that song. It's a song that's not talked about enough. I'm giving, I feel like, oddments a lot of shouts. The it's got old music video and uh, Homeless Man in Adidas right now. I guess I've been in the oddments mood recently. Okay, so that's all for my shout outs. Let's get to the, the fun stuff, the news, King Giz news. Um, so first up, so in Europe, they did live debuts of Dragon and Kepler 22B. Played them multiple times while touring Europe. Um, there's some cool Kepler 22B jams that people think there might be some new stuff hidden in there, but we don't really know. Uh, and then the Dragon, uh, them playing Dragon, it's just so awesome. Look up any of the videos on YouTube. Plenty of fans have put up footage. I think Skizzardland, who I've mentioned multiple times, put up at least one one performance of Dragon. It yeah, it's it's so cool. Whether you like their metal stuff or not, it's just it's impressive to watch the boys do that. And when Joey does his Latin verses, uh, yeah, it's it's epic. It's so epic. I don't remember if it was the Instagram post or the Gizmail or something, but uh, Stu, who wrote the Gizmail, or I'm saying it's Stu. Someone kind of uh, talking about the marathon shows, at least with the King Giz Post or Giz Mail, kind of there was a highlight of like epic shows, um, almost to like imply, you know, they do have average shows, but epic shows too. Anyway, uh, it's a it's an interesting thing. And I think they're really ramping up the idea of like, hey, these three hour marathons are like big deals uh, that are coming up. We're going to be talking about soon. And I don't know. It was just a, it was an interesting language uh, choice that I noticed talking about epic, the concept of epic shows coming. They're going to hit South America, which I mentioned last time, but that's been officially announced in the Gizmail, not just on Tim Heidecker's show with uh, Joey and Lucas. But moving on, we've also got new bootlegs, the Chicago bootlegs, and uh, some new demos came out last week. They are exquisite. I'm currently working on some Chicago video edits. Uh, my first one has already dropped and I'm going to be working on two more that I have not started yet, but uh, they're mapped out in my head at least and on little note cards. So I'm going to be working on those soon. Uh, Chicago bootlegs sound great. Uh, I mean, there is a little sound damage i think at the beginning of night three it got water damage so that's why gia monster and um converge are combined the way they are but other than that i mean you know it's still it, it's great and chicago's getting more love because you're getting one of the marathon shows that we're going to be talking about soon um and then the new demos uh demos volume five and six have a lot of cool demos and interesting tracks on it and a lot of people have been speculating on if any of those because some of them are synth based or th synth heavy if any of them are going to appear in some form on the new album which by the way in the giz mail Stu said the new album is locked and loaded it is done but there is no announcements on release dates or um, if a single's about to drop or anything. Uh, I was actually a little disappointed that all they said was the new album is officially finished because I think when Joey and Lucas were on Tim Heidecker's um, show, uh, when was that? June? Mid-June? End of June? They said the album was almost done. It was like over 90% complete or something like that. And so Stu has uh, officially announced it is done. And he also had mentioned in a uh, interview he did while on the European tour that uh, the boys are actually going in the studio for a couple weeks. They've booked a couple weeks specifically to go in the studio in October of this year to work on new stuff. 
um, and uh, they have no idea what that's going to be. But it's going to be them working on new stuff in the studio for a couple weeks in October. It's also been rumored that the next album is coming out in October, but there's no official word on that. Like I just said, that's just the rumor is sometime in October. I think three of the boys, uh, Joey and Stu and who's the third? Maybe Cavs? I don't know. Uh, th three of them are about to have kids. Um, some of them, their first kids, some uh, uh, second. But um, it's interesting that they know they're going in the studio, but they don't really have anything planned of what they're going to be doing in the studio. You know, I, I think they like to keep it loose and just let the creatively uh, creative side of them flow however it flows so we'll see what comes out of that one random little note that i noticed uh, at the beginning of the giz mail Stu wrote he mentioned the fans as giz heads which i think he's done before but he's normally called us the weirdo swarm and uh, I just liked that he officially called us Giz Heads in the Giz Mail. Uh, not that I'm against Weirdo Swarm. I use both, but I do prefer the term Giz Head over Weirdo Swarm. And uh, yeah, it was nice that Stu has definitely adopted that, as well as also calling us the Weirdo Swarm. Both are acceptable, but uh, yeah, if you have a preference, you know, let me know in the comments. Do you prefer Giz Head or Weirdo, Weirdo Swarm or something else entirely? Do you prefer Sexy Alien? or something like that. So let's go ahead and talk about the four marathon shows. So I'm filming this Tuesday night. The Gizmail uh, came out today, Tuesday, September 12th. The early uh, access for the marathon shows is going to come out tomorrow, Wednesday, but I'm gonna be dropping this video on Wednesday. So today, they dropped today. There's early access to get these tickets. Today, tomorrow, and I think um, at least some of Friday, I don't know when the cutoff is. If you sign up for the Gizmail, uh, you can get the exact information and you can get the pre-sale code. You need the pre-sale code. I'm not going to tell you what it is in this video, but you can find it if you sign up for Gizmail. And you should sign up for Gizmail. So where are these four marathon shows? The first one is going to be in mid-August of next year, and that is the, at the Forest Hills Stadium in New York. Glad that the East Coast is getting some love and some three-hour marathon love. Uh, as far as, obviously, last year, uh, the boys did four marathon shows then, but three of them were at Red Rocks, and one was in California. And then this year, they only did one three-hour marathon in the U.S. that was in California. But now we're getting one in New York. Like I said, Forest Hill Stadium. They're doing one in Chicago, so I, they must have really loved Chicago doing the residency, uh, releasing the bootlegs first, and uh, just announcing that they're doing a three-hour marathon in Chicago next year. And then they are doing one at the Gorge in Quincy, Washington, which uh, if you've never looked up pictures of that venue, you should do that, and then you'll be like me and be like, I have to find a way to go there. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow slash today when this video drops. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a ticket to the Gorge and see if I can find a way there because it's that's on my bucket list. That's on my wish list to see a show at the Gorge and Giz I think would be the perfect band for it. Uh, so that, that one's in mid-September. So mid-August to mid-September, we know um, even though no other tour dates have been announced, the boys are going to be in the U.S. probably from at least mid-August to mid-September. I wouldn't be surprised if it's, they start earlier in August and go a little later in September, or at least one of those. Uh, but their last three-hour marathon in the U.S. next year is two months after that one at the Gorge. It's in Austin, Texas, and that's in mid-November. So I'm going to uh, probably do a little speculation about why it's two months out, because I personally don't think the boys are going to tour the U.S. for three months straight, even though I would love it if they did, since I'm in the U.S. Here, I'll go ahead and tell you my theory now. I have a feeling, uh, possibly, that the South American tour that they have uh, said is happening but haven't set any dates might happen shortly after uh, this U.S., August to September tour, and maybe they'll start further south, move their way up north, and maybe do Mexico again, 
and then end it by going up to Austin, Texas and doing a three hour marathon in the States one more time. Not saying that is what's gonna happen, but that's what I'm speculating is uh, South America, you're finally gonna get giz in, uh, what would that be? Probably October, but hopefully you'll get them even earlier. I mean, I would not be surprised if giz comes to the US before August. I would actually think they probably are going to do that next year, even if it's just a short uh, stop over here. I'm definitely hoping they do Red Rocks again, even if it's not a marathon show. I just, I love the venue. I think the boys love the venue and have gotten uh, comfortable there. And it, all those shows have been just mind blowing. So would love more Red Rock shows, would love more residencies. You know, they've definitely mentioned that they like the residencies and they want to do them again in the future, but they have not officially announced if they're going to do any residencies in the U.S. next year. Only these four marathon shows are what have officially been announced. Uh, we don't know what all they're going to do in the spring. There was another rumor that they were actually going to play Madison Square Garden in like February or something or March or anyways. I think that rumor got debunked and it turns out um, it's going to be Tame Impala, but that also has not been confirmed anyways. I don't know if the boys will ever play Madison Square Garden. I would love to see them do that. Um, I mean, I probably won't go there. I, I'm not a big city person. I don't think I would go to New York. Eh, maybe I would actually. But anyways, uh, don't know if uh, that rumor is true. I mean, maybe it is, but that's, that's, a, that's a rumor, that's speculation. Take it with a grain of salt. Let's move on to, oh, I've got more, I've got more rumors. Okay, we've moved to the rumor section of the video for the most part. Okay, so we've got rumored track titles for the new album. Uh, still don't have a rumored name, but uh, these are nine track titles uh, that we, uh, someone online, it was on Reddit, I'm sorry, I don't, I did not write down the user that posted this, but I believe they looked up uh, copyrights. King Giz uh, recently put in some copyrights with, I don't know if it was ASCAP or BMI or wh wh whoever does that stuff for copywriting music. Um, and there were new music or uh, new song titles uh, that got copyrighted in the recent past. So someone put that up. And so this is, this could be spoilery. I think, I think this is rumored to be true but it has not been officially announced but i'm about to go through the possible song titles of our next king giz album later this year so there's one that's supposedly called embryo and there's also a theory that this might be a bonus track so they might be doing another bonus track on the vinyl um also another rumor don't even know if it's a bonus track but there's a theory that this track called embryo is a bonus track for the next album uh, there are also tracks called Extinction, a track called Gilgamesh, I'm interested to hear that one, uh, Plasma, a track called Set, uh, Space Junk, The Swan Song, be interesting to hear the swan song versus the bird song, put them against each other. Uh, we've got the Silver Chord and then Thea. Or Thea? 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 Who knows? Anyways, uh, those are rumored to be the new track titles. So, and uh, I feel, I, I definitely, it's believable. I'm not saying it's a fact at this point, because it's not. Uh, it hasn't been officially announced by the boys that these are the new track titles, but someone did some digging and believes these are the new track titles. So, interesting. Do with it what you want. Other rumors and speculation or just talking about the future of King Giz and King Giz Live. They've talked more about playing Intrasport Live that is in the works at some point. It has uh, basically been said that they are working on doing that one live. They want to do it live. It was already talked about with Joey and Lucas on Tim Heidecker's show. It's been talked more, it was talked about more, um, I think near the end of the European tour, they did another interview and did a lot of audience Q and A. Um, so Intrasport has been talked about and just more synth, more electronic, which makes sense with this next album that's supposed to be synth heavy. 
um, and them talking about it already in June and now again on this European tour that they're working on more synth stuff and they're working on more synth stuff for live too. They're trying to incorporate it more with their live stuff and that was kind of implied in the Giz mail. So it could be this next tour uh, next year in 2024 ends up, we see a lot of synth based stuff, a lot of synth jams. And, I mean, I'm interested in the future of whatever these guys do, obviously, but uh, I, that would be really cool. That'd be all of that. Uh, consider me interested. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested. All right, so we'll go ahead and just wrap it up. Um, I don't remember the things I was going to talk about at the end, exact, except uh, just to go turn go back to the front, right? And uh, check out kglw.net. Check out their new forum. Also, thanks again for getting me to 500 subs. That's cool. Let's let's try to get a thousand. Let's try to get every giz head over here. Get them talking to me. Get them get 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 them shout shout at me. Be like you, you 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 whatever. You know, people like to be shitty in the comments. Let's let's get it fired up. All right, it's late Tuesday night. My brain is uh, not working very well right now. Worked all day but wanted to go ahead and film all this sweet, beautiful information. Thank you guys again for getting me to 500 subs. Let's, let's, let's keep bumping that number up. Keep going up. Check out kglw.net. Check out the forum. That's all.